Okay, so this is an example of a homemade breadboard using only paper clips, a cardboard box, Elmer's glue, and speaker wire. So you have your positive rail on the top, which goes to your battery. That's the positive. And then you have the negative, which goes to your negative rail. And then your negative rail is connected up to your first rail, which is on your resistor. Your resistor occupies, rather. And then your LED is connected. So you have positive, and you have negative. So when you put your batteries back together, you get the LED to go on. I should. It's uh, with the flash on, so I should take it off and show you without. But you should be able to see that uh, LED turned on and on. All right, so I'm going to show you how to make this, and it's very simple, obviously. Uh, but the important thing to note is that we just we bend just a very small portion of the end of the paper clip, and then we insert it. Uh, you know, we 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 go right through the cardboard, um, and then you put the Elmer's glue over that. Oh, my batteries are uh, they were apart. There you go. All right, so let me show you this with the uh, with the light off, with the flash off. And, uh, because I have the flash on the camera turned on. Okay, so now you can see with the, um, with the flash off, that the LED works very nice. And I'll move the batteries back and forth so you can see it go on and off. So it works really good. very solid and as you can see all we did is crimped the paper clips right onto the right onto the rows and then we have the speaker wire doing all the um, you know the power supply uh, you know concerns and that's the positive on the top and it's the negative rail on the bottom which just goes to two batteries two D batteries All right, so this is just the cardboard box with, with a piece of paper uh, glued glued down. Now we have our positive rail on the top, negative rail on the bottom, and these pieces we're going to bend into place, just a very very edge. We're going to just bend a very small segment, and that way we're able to indent it. I'll show you what it looks like. How small. Just like that big. And then I can fit. Hold on a second. There we go. And then what you're going to do is put Elmer's glue. So Elmer's glue works just fine to, uh, to keep that in place. Now you could use hot glue. Um, but it's not necessary because the Elmer's glue uh, does really well too. Uh, this is very secure though. And the middle could be secured more because these are very long runs, but it's not really not necessary. And the negative rail on the bottom. So this is with the hot glue method. Alright, so now with all of our pieces in place, they just held in there with a very small amount of a, a bend in the ends. We've got our positive rail, we've got our negative rail, we've got eight rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got eight rails.
to uh, to work with here. And that's enough for many small circuits. Um, so you'll find that's all you need. And you, uh, you can see you have more room to do more. Uh, these are also the, the large paper clips, so it doesn't have to be this big. But this is for learning too, so... Um, but it can be made more miniature, it's just this is this is to show you uh, uh, the concepts in a, in a much easier uh, fashion. So we're going to put some Elmer's glue uh, right in the in the dots, right in the in the puncture holes there, and we're going to let it sit for quite a while. Okay, so we got the Elmer's glue right at the very ends. I'm going to put this down so it'll dry, and that might even be a little too much, but it does the job. It's just a little glob right at the very end. And it's going to take a while to dry. But you have this breadboard nice and prepared. And it'll be a lot easier to work with. And don't worry if it's a little bit messy and, um, you know, the rows aren't perfect. This is just, just for learning. So, it's a very strong and permanent method to make your circuits. But don't be worried about, you know, is it perfectly straight and... Just don't worry about it. Just make your circuits have fun because remember what what the objective is is to learn electronics to get all these concepts uh, and not have to order breadboards every five seconds <laughs> so with these paper clips these are jumbo that's why this is so big these are these are the the large paper clips you can also do this with the smaller size paper clips all right so I'm gonna let that dry and we'll show you the result after. All right, and here's what it looks like when you have all the Elmer's glue nice and dried. I don't know, somewhere somewhere around 10 hours uh, for, you know, a big glob of it to dry uh, sufficiently. But now you have a homemade breadboard. And you got your positive rail on the top, negative rail on the bottom. And you got eight rows, which many circuits, if you look on your breadboard, when you actually count how many um, different different slots you use, many, many of the circuits you're making aren't using more than eight different positions. Of course, we can add more, and I space this very wide uh, to be easy to show, uh, you know, where where everything goes. All right, so I just wanted to uh, make a, a quick note. Uh, I've said it before in other videos, but uh, the reason we do this is because uh, soldering is very, very dangerous. And making an exhaust system that would actually keep those fumes away from your lungs, it would have to be a, a pretty, pretty good system because even one puff in a person's lungs and we're talking irreparable damage. It's not a joke. So that's why I say, hey, if we don't need to do that, if instead we can just, I'll show you how to zoom in, we just crimp our pieces down onto the rows using paper clips, that's all we need to get it to work. And this is, uh, should be showing up even with the flash. It's a pretty big uh, difference in but same thing, it's just, I just took the small piece of paper clip and bent the ends and crimped them around each leg of each component. And then I bend that leg of uh, the paper clip around the row and I crimp it down onto the row. And you can take those out anytime, or if you choose, you could put the hot glue and that would uh, make it more permanent and hold it in place uh, so that it won't have any uh, any movement at all. Now that's how you make a homemade breadboard using paper clips and Elmer's glue and speaker wire.